Everybody, it's me, LaRasha, Goddess Queen, just me, 23, and this is going to be another zodiac sign reading. And Aries, you are up, so this is going to be for Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Or if you're a cross watcher and you're dealing with somebody that has strong Aries in their chart, this is for you too. Or if you were just guided to this video and you don't have Aries in your chart or you're not dealing with anybody that has Aries in their chart, maybe there's some messages in this video for you too. Keep in mind that this is a general reading, so it may not resonate with everybody. If it does resonate, please like my video, subscribe to my channel, as well as comment um, and share. If it does not resonate, please try your moon sign and your rising sign, which is your ascendant sign. And in order for you to get your ascendant sign, you have to have your name, your date of birth, the time you're born, as well as your location. If you don't have all that information, I stay pay, pay attention to your sun, your moon, your Venus, and your Mercury. Keep in mind that um, the cards that I use in my videos have already been shuffled. I will cut them on camera so you can see that. If you're interested in purchasing any of these decks, they are also listed in the description box of the video, as well as the link for the uh, your birth chart at Cafe Astrology is listed there too. If you're interested in booking a reading with me, my readings are $25 each and that's for a 20 to 30 minute reading. Again, that's $25 each and that's for a 20 to 30 minute reading. Um, my readings are a lot cheaper than a lot of other readers. You will notice that. Um, so if you're interested in booking a reading with me, you can email me at goddessqueenjustme23 at gmail.com. Again, that's goddessqueenjustme23 at gmail.com. If you didn't get that, it's in the description box of my videos as well as my About Me and my channel. Um, also, just want to say thank you for everybody that has been supporting me since the beginning as well as welcome to all my new um, subscribers. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, this reading is going to be a little bit different. We are in Scorpio season. Scorpio season is about transformations, about letting go of the past as well as, you know, uh, a lot of tower moments every um Zodiac will have a tower will we'll have tower moments and it would either be good tower moments or bad tower moments depending on how you are doing on your transition as far as your transformation um and your purging process. Um so let we'll see how this overall reading is gonna do. So I'm gonna basically with this reading is just gonna help you what you need to focus on during Scorpio season, okay. And of course, I have my music in the background. And I'm sorry, y'all, I am battling a code. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. So again, this is going to be for Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising, as well as Venus. I am a, a Aries, Venus. Um, and then also cross watcher is if you're dealing with somebody that has strong um, Aries in their chart. Freedom is the overall energy that we have for the next during Scorpio season. So what we have for this is with freedom. A lot of y'all are trying to break free from a certain situation. A lot of y'all are, you know, getting ready to have freedom. Some of y'all could be having some family members or friends or somebody that you know that is going to be getting released from um, jail soon is what I'm getting from this. But overall, I'm seeing that a lot of y'all are were been had could have been possibly feeling restricted. A lot of y'all could have been feeling stuck in certain things. Um, a lot of y'all were having a lot of blockage as far as mental block. block I'm sorry, I can't speak. Mental blockage as well as emotional blockage. A lot of y'all are breaking free from having those certain, you know, um, thought processes that have been keeping you stuck. Um, this is about you breaking free from questioning everything. So this is when freedom is here. It's a lot of 
sword energy as well as um purple energy which is emotions so this is basically you plan an escape somebody could be trying to escape from a certain situation is what i'm getting from this um so freedom it says i possess the power to okay so i possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness so a lot of y'all are wanting to be happy a lot of y'all are you know in situations where you are feeling free, you're having those nurturing, you know, connections as far as your friends and family. A lot of y'all are, you know, free spirit people. Um, so I'm just seeing overall freedom. Um, I see balance. Some of y'all are learning how to balance yourself emotionally, physically, and spiritually. A lot of y'all are, um, you know, compromising, you know, willing to do your fur, your fair share and, um, the relationships that you're in a lot of y'all are feeling a lot of ac accomplishments as well as success um this is also about balancing your dark side as well as your light side so a lot of y'all are going through the dark night of the soul a lot of y'all are you know trying to be more of higher energy than you are of dark energy and so i'm just seeing a lot of y'all could be having like i said trying to balance yourself you know as far as Spending time with for yourself, spending time for your family members, as well as, you know, having that work home life balance. So I'm just seeing a lot of y'all are going within. Um, you're trying to, you know, remove yourself from feeling, you know, stuck. Um, a lot of y'all have, you know, are willing to change your certain outcomes in certain situations. You're willing to go with go within to find that inner wisdom is what I'm getting. So I bring a state of perfect harmony into my world. And I do so without judgment. So a lot of y'all are not passing judgment on other people. A lot of y'all, like I said, have been going through physical and mental illnesses, illnesses and y'all are finally getting over it. Um, a lot of y'all, like I said, are in a happy state as far as, you know, where you are in your life. A lot of y'all have been, you know, looking for the peace, looking for, you know, the, the joy, the hope. And I'm seeing a lot of y'all are, you know, right now in a in a stage of your life where you're content you're okay you're happy and you have been you know responsible you have been doing the things that you needed to do in order to keep yourself balanced keep yourself you know um in a place where you're overall grounded and i'm just seeing you have a lot of friends and family members um that's around you um happiness is something like i said that y'all have possibly was not getting in the past and now i'm seeing a lot of y'all are finally getting that to a state where you are overall happy you're overall okay and you're overall with you know the the overall process um that it took for you to to get yourself to where you are now so it says i am aware that being happy means that i am on the right path so a lot of y'all know that being happy it being joyful being positive is always the path that you want to be on some of y'all are possibly going to be getting ready to go through some type of grief. Um, there could be a loss of um, a family member or some of y'all are possibly still getting over, you know, a loss of a family member. Some of y'all have been, you know, still dealing um, through heartaches from, you know, grief of separation from a certain person um, uh, is what I'm getting from this too. Um, but this is overall just letting you saying that you understand that, like I said, even if there's an opportunity of you losing something, a family member, a friend or... Or even this is a, just a position a possession or you know something that was keeping you you know a material um material things you're just knowing that let that even though you lost something you still have the opportunity to gain even more um so i understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it so like i said a lot of y'all are still dealing with heartache as far as let's say if it was somebody that did pass away you're still going through the motions of that but like i said overall you are in a happy place you are understanding um you know everybody's not going to be here you can't everybody can't stay here you know if if everybody could stay here then of course we would always be in happiness but a lot of y'all are understanding and y'all are finally you know accepting somebody passing away um is what i'm getting it and you're pr appreciating the times that you had with this person um like i said a lot of y'all could be remembering about you know past memories that kept you happy um so the next part that we have is patience um patience is about you know you accepting the things you basically taking the time you also allowing yourself to you heal properly 
properly is what I'm getting from this Aries. A lot of y'all possibly could be losing patience in a certain situation that you're currently in. Um, but I'm just seeing this is saying that you do have to have patience. You do have to be a little bit more responsible. You have to be a little bit more res reliable and then honor your commitments is what I'm getting from this too. But I'm seeing a lot of y'all are, have been being patient. A lot of y'all have, you know, been going through the steps in order for you to be able to get a brand new beginning. So I'm just seeing your patience is something that is telling you that you need to also continue to work on during Scorpio season. There could be some things that's going to be coming in your life that could possibly cause you to lose your patience patience is what i'm getting through during scorpio season i accept that everything happens in divine order and this is just letting you know if something is meant for you it's always going to come to you in the time that it needs to come to you um and is what i'm what they're telling they're letting me they're wanting me to tell you aries our cross watcher Okay, so it seems like a lot of signs this Scorpio season is going to be thinking about their relationships, um, how to keep their relationships balanced, you know, emotionally, where they have emotional satisfaction. Um, the next card that we have is desire. So this is basically you at Aries standing in your passion. This is the fire energy, you being passionate, you following your goals, you being headstrong and just being that self-starter. This is about you being a little bit more ambitious and as far as you moving towards the things that you know as far as your dreams and your goals. Um, this is about you knowing that your desires will come to you if you put the work in it. And I'm just seeing a lot of y'all are going to be making movements, y'all are going to be making changes, y'all are going to be gaining the confidence within yourself and going to be a little bit more adventurous and go seek out the things that caught brings you passion and brings you happiness is what i'm getting okay so a lot of y'all are craving a certain situation a lot of y'all could be craving a certain person or missing a certain person that was in your life is what i'm getting somebody that has always been a desire to you or has you have strong passion for this person is what i'm getting from this too um the next card that we have is emotional balance so this is about you you know like i said you already had the balance card come out earlier. This is you finding balance. You, this is you, you know, healing yourself physically, emotionally, and spiritually. This is about you finding the stability. You finding, you know, the, the building your foundation from bottom to from bottom to up. Um, this is also about you finding the peace, you having the loving relationships, the ones that you can trust, the ones that are you are overall loyal to you, and as well as loyal to. Um, they're loyal you're loyal to them and they're loyal to you back this is also about you being you have using your bit your heart you being a little bit more big hearted you being a little bit more hard working and being a little bit more nurturing if you see you have the ace of cups here so this is about you know the joy this is about the friendships this is about growing those bonds that make you happy as well as help you through your emotional growth is what i'm getting so i'm seeing a lot of y'all are finding peace within yourself a lot of y'all, so if you see this is a 27, this is a, a 9, this is about moving on happiness and this is about growth. A lot of y'all could have a lot of activations in um, your Saturn chart of your birth chart. So look and see exactly what's in your Saturn chart of your birth chart. Um, the next card that we have is forgiveness. So like I said, a lot of y'all in the past could have been going through certain things, certain mental conflicts that was keeping you stuck. A lot of y'all, like I said, were breaking free from certain relationships um, or certain habits some of y'all are asking for forgiveness as well as if you ask for that forgiveness and somebody finally forgives you in a situation, it's like a weight off of your shoulders. So I'm seeing a lot of y'all are letting go of certain things. Y'all are learning how to heal. You're learning how to um, put that investment within yourself where it causes you to be able to grow. It causes you to be able to be successful. A lot of y'all in the past were possibly being a little bit narrow-minded and a little bit selfish, but I'm just seeing now over the pain, over the little, you know, the heartache that you have had, um, those those bad cycles, I'm seeing that you're learning how to forgive yourself as well as forgive people that have hurt you in the past because you don't want to stay stuck. So I'm seeing a lot of y'all, like I said, are reaching for forgiveness. Um, this could have also been a mental conflict as far as some things that were keeping you stuck. Let's say, Aries, if you were somebody that always holds on to the past and you have problems of moving forward, I'm seeing right now you are in a, you're in a situation right now that you know that that's a cycle that you're wanting to let go of and you're going to 
going to learn how to find that balance within yourself. Um, you're going to learn how to, you know, experiment a little bit more when it comes to, you know, doing the things that you need to do in order to keep you grounded. Um, the next card that we have is relationships. This is about intimacy. This is about you also here's freedom again. So like I said, a lot of y'all possibly could be making a choice to um, disconnect from a certain relationship. Somebody, some of y'all Aries is, could be making a decision to leave a certain relationship, but it's going to be your decision as far as your choice if you're wanting to do this. So some of y'all have a decision as far as if you're wanting to stay in a relationship, if you're wanting to move forward, there possibly could be somebody that is in your past that you felt that, let's say if you were the one that made a choice and you left this person, um, I'm just seeing that you're possibly the one that's wanting to get somebody to forgive you in a certain situation. This is also about you trusting yourself, trusting the relationships that you're in. Aries, right now, if you are currently in a relationship that you are, you know, not having any problems, I'm just seeing that y'all are going to be growing your bond a little bit together more. Y'all possibly could have, you know, um, some passion as far as intimacy that's taking place in Scorpio season is what I'm getting to. You can got to remember Scorpio season are the, the signs that is promiscuous. Um, so um, a lot of sexual activity is what I'm seeing as far as y'all being fire signs is what I'm getting to. This is going to also help you open up your shape. Your sacral chakra is what I'm getting. So there's going to be a lot of movement and activity in that area. Um, but this is also about, like I said, finding out, you know, the relationships that are best for you. You making a choice to keep yourself in situations as far as, you know, relationships that have been overall toxic. Some of y'all are going to be gaining the courage to remove yourself from a relationship that you feel that is no longer good for you. Um, some of y'all also are going to be using your free will and you're going to be making the decision, like I said, to love yourself a little bit more, to spend more time within yourself so you can be a little bit more you know, ambitious for you to be a little bit strong willed is what I'm getting from this. Um, some of y'all are going to be having some type of challenges as far as, like I said, when it comes to, um, completely removing yourself from mental conflict as well as emotional conflict is what I'm getting from this. But some of y'all do, like I said, overall want change. Y'all are ready for a new beginning. Y'all are ready for a fresh start. Y'all are ready for, you know, um, new things to come into your life. So I'm seeing that some of y'all are going to be mastering yourself a little bit better. Some of y'all are going to be a little bit more daring, like I was saying earlier, in order for you to gain the divine wisdom, in order for you to be able to move forward in certain situations where you always have good karma is what I'm getting from this too. Um, so let's keep going. Okay, so finances and career. So some of y'all like I could be making a decision if you're going to be leaving a certain job or if you're going to be making a certain different career change. A lot of y'all have are starting a brand new jobs where you're seeing it's causing you to be able to be a little bit more abundant. Um, some of y'all are having issues as far as your job situation and that could be the situation that you're trying to make a decision if you're going to completely remove yourself from um, a certain job that's keeping you stuck keep and draining your energy and causing you to lose balance within yourself because that did come on top of the balance card. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. So some of y'all are, like I said, struggling financially. Um, some of y'all do need to let go of control issues. This could have been also an issue as far as in the past. Let's say if you were not letting go of certain, you know, toxic energy or certain ways that you wanted certain outco outcomes. I'm seeing a lot of y'all are letting go of, you know, that control. You are a fire, fire sign Aries. You are um, the emperor card, which is... Um, about, you know, when they're reversed, about control, being egotistical, abusing their power. And I'm seeing a lot of y'all are making, you know, changes and making the movement in order to not be, you know, that negative energy of the emperor, the, that negative energy. You're being more, you're wanting to be a little bit more stable. You're wanting to be a little bit more, you know, the king, be the ruler, ruler or the queen of your castle. So I'm seeing a lot of y'all are going to be a little bit more respectful when it comes to other people's um, feelings as well as other people's, you know, space is what I'm getting. So a lot of y'all are going to let the, the universe, 
take control of certain things is what I'm getting. Um, very soon, there could possibly, like I said, be somebody that's coming back from your past, um, somebody that you do want to um, connect to. Um, this person, you could have possibly, Aries, or Crosswatcher, you could have been the one that caused this person to have trust issues against you. Are they, you, this person you caused you not to be able to trust them? But I'm seeing somebody is going to be coming back um, from somebody's past. This person could have been somebody that was very manipulative or they were, they were in and out of a situation is what I'm getting. I'm seeing that also some of y'all are going to be making decisions. Like I said, if you're wanting to leave, leave a job or if you're wanting to make a certain change as far as, you know, um, your career life, they're saying clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Some of, so some of y'all are going to be making a decision. Um, it's telling you the, you the universe as well as your higher self, as well as God, whoever you see as the higher self is telling you to, um, to trust this situation it is for your better off good so a lot of y'all like i said are having issues or was in the past having issues as far as trust issues some of you like i said are going to be finding out of a certain situation where you're finding out that somebody was lying to you and it's going to cause you to lose some type of trust within a person and that's the reason why this grief card was coming out so some of y'all are going to be going through a situation where you're going to be finding out that somebody did betray you um this situation is calling for you to have faith so so um, some of y'all, like I said, if this is a person that's coming back from your past and this person um, was somebody that was um, that just puts you in a certain position where it caused you to feel like you couldn't trust this person. Um, the universe is telling you that it's going to cause you're going to have to trust um, that this person is coming back um, as a different person is what I, what they're telling me to tell you birthday so scorpio season there could be like i said something that's going to be taking place on somebody's birthday um um and which is the next birthday is scorpio season which is now are there is somebody that you know that 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 a, there's somebody that you know that could possibly be having a birthday that's going to be um um the end of this month or the end of this year and it's going to be a significant play. Uh, it's going to play a significant role in your life. Like it's going to, you're going to be getting answers to a certain question that's going to be coming to somebody's birthday. Is what I'm getting from this too. Patience. So again, patience, please. Um, what you're asking for is coming about. Have patience, as there is unseen factors that need to come to occur first. So there could be some of y'all, like I said, that have been always, you know, let's say if you are Aries, y'all are typically, you know, wanting to control everything. Y'all always have that passion. Y'all always are very headstrong. So some of y'all have been, you know, controlling certain situations, which is causing you to miss out on certain benefits and certain, um, you know, new cycles in your life. And they're telling you that you're going to have to let go of the control issues in order for you to get the things that you want. Um, there's, uh, they're possibly, like I said, could, they're saying there's things that's going on on the back end that you possibly cannot see cross watcher or, uh, Aries that that's going on, especially if this is somebody that's coming back from your past or you're waiting for somebody to come back in your past. They're telling you to wait, um, trust, trust. Um, the universe is always going to bring this person back to you. If this person is meant to come back in your life is what they're saying. Um, whom do you for need to forgive? So like I was saying, some of y'all are still hurting from a certain situation. If somebody did you wrong, they're saying you need to forgive yourself as well as forgive them in order for you to be able to start a brand new cycle, a brand new beginning. Um, some of y'all, like I said, um, are still holding on to old anger, old resentment, which is causing you to stay in that mental conflict as far as the swords energy where you're questioning everything. They're telling you to let go of anger, let go of resentment, let go of any of those negative traits that's going to keep you stuck as you release old anger or resentment you will find that your wishes will come true so they're saying that you're almost there aries you're getting there you know you're you have your desires in your hands but like i said at the same time there could be some stuff that you still are holding on to that you need to let go of in your past there could have been like i said some of y'all that was having financial issues let's say if this was your birthday back in um last year aries some of y'all could have been having issues as far as your incomes. Some of y'all possibly did have new uh, new financial changes as far as your careers back in your birthday. So that's the reason why this is coming out um, on this card um, for the birthday. So that's what they, they were like 
I'm going to tell you what it's about now. Okay, so emotional healing. So like I said, a lot of y'all are, you know, going through certain emotional pain. A lot of y'all are going through sorrows as far as tears. And, you know, as far as let's say if you were going through um, some of you areas, like I said, we're going through the loss of a loved one. So they're saying that you are, you know, emotionally healing yourself properly. You're still going through the motions. You're still going through the phases of that. They're saying make sure you do the things that you need to do. So if you need to meditate, take salt baths, lavender baths, go walking, um, you know, get some crystal stones, whatever it, is, it requires for you to go through, you know, the steps of your healing process and help you through that process a little bit easier. Um, they're telling you to do that. As your heart heals of old emotional pain, you receive new blessings of love. So like I said, a lot of y'all are still holding on to um, old relationships that, you know, don't no longer serve you good. Um, and you just need to let go of that. And once you let go of that, you're going to see that your life is going to be, uh, you're going to get a brand new life, a new beginnings. It's up to you. This card keeps coming out. It's up to you. So like I said, a lot of y'all, and then the choice card also came out. So this is saying Aries is up to you on what you're going to make a decision. Um, if you're going to make a certain decision, they're saying it's up to you. Follow your intuition, follow your gut feeling and know, and follow, go with what you know that is best for you. Um, the, you're going to get the signals, you're going to get the signs and they're telling you, um, once you get that instant to go with it is what it's saying, but it's up to you. Some of y'all, like I said, if this is a person that's coming back from your past, it's up to you if you're going to take this person back. But they're saying if this person does come back, this person is coming back as a brand new person and you're going to, because they went through emotional healing um, and you're going to have to trust the situation, okay, um, is what I'm hearing from that too. Abundance. So a lot of y'all have, like I said, are getting ready to have opportunities as far as emotional growth when it comes to your financial stability. Some of y'all, like I said, are going to be going into new jobs, new careers that's going to cause you to feel a little bit more abundance. A lot of y'all are, like I said, balancing yourself spiritually, emotionally, and physically, and it's causing you to be a brand new person. Now you have, you know, you're noticing that you're getting, having those love, those love relationships where you're having those people that's coming into your life that's bringing nothing but abundance to you and if it's not money that they're bringing it's just basically happiness it's a happiness and joy that they're bringing into your life is what i'm getting from this within the next few weeks so like i was saying some of y'all are going to be getting um contacted from somebody that's coming back from your past within the next few weeks it's going to be up to you to make a decision if you're going to want this person to come back some of y'all are going to be making a decision to completely uh disconnect from a certain person um that, like a certain relationship is what i'm getting from this too um they're saying and when if you do do this you're going to have to forgive yourself um as well as forgive that person um don't put yourself in certain you know, in a certain situation as well as where you're always, what they're saying is like, you're going to have to forgive yourself, Aries, for putting yourself in a certain situation with a certain individual. You're going to have to forgive yourself as well as forgive that person too, because if you don't do that, then it's going to cause you to miss out on your abundance and cause you to miss out on the opportunities that are supposed to come to you, okay? So some of y'all know that y'all are stuck in a certain relationship that you're wanting to break free from because you know that this relationship is causing your uh, stopping your emotional growth and you're stopping your blessings from coming in and that and some of y'all are going to be making that decision within the next few weeks um if you're going to completely disconnect from that person is what i'm getting okay Whew. okay so again relationships so this is letting with the Ten of Cups coming to Ten of Cups, the Ten, it might as well have been the Ten of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles coming out. This is about abundance. This is about, you know, good money. This is about the wealth. This is about friends and family members. Um, this is about you having, you know, those relationships where you feel that people are very loyal to you. Um, this is about people respecting you. Um, this is about you having, you know, those good opportunities as far as your job wise, wise is what I'm getting. So some of y'all, like I said, are going to be making a decision as far as, you know, if you're going to be switching a certain career in order to, that's going to help you be more happy, 
financially, emotionally, and physically is what I'm getting. Um, a lot of y'all, like I said, are going to be connecting with somebody that was in the past. Um, possibly there could have been somebody that put you or you Aries could have put this person in a third party relationship. But I'm seeing some of y'all Aries is right now. Let's say if you are in a relationship right now with a Gemini, um, or somebody has strong air in their chart, I'm seeing that this person, you and this person, y'all are um, having a good uh, relationship as far as when it comes to y'all relationship. I'm seeing that this is a good relationship. I'm seeing that y'all are feeling the love. Y'all all have that emotional connection. Um, you do know that this is person is your soulmate. Um, when the lovers come out, this is about divine union. This is about your soulmate, twin flame. This is about you gaining balance as well as, like I said, finding those um, friendships um, that's going to be in your life that's going to cause you nothing but harmony and joy um, the next card that we have is the full card so this is again about new beginnings this is about something new this is about the fresh start some of you like I said have found a new perspective and y'all are going to be taking a new direction um, so some of y'all like I said could be possibly um, going to be connecting disconnecting from a, a Sagittarius um, some of y'all like I said in the past was dealing with some people that was causing you not to be able to balance yourself emotionally physically and uh, spiritually some of y'all like I said are realizing that you um, have a conflict of interest with a certain person and that's the reason why like I said somebody is going to be um, ending a certain relationship with a certain individual within the next few weeks is what I'm getting from this but some of y'all like I said are have been over compromising yourself some of y'all are no noticing that like I said um, you have been having lack of teamwork when it comes to a certain relationship that you're in and it's causing nothing but discord in your relationship so they're saying you're going to have to use your intuition you're going to have to make that decision very soon if you're going to wanting to leave this relationship or if you're wanting to stay in this relationship but I do like I said see some of y'all right now um, somebody is coming Somebody wants to go to somebody back in their past, okay? And somebody is getting ready to be the fool and they're getting ready to make that decision because they see nothing but happiness for this per to this person, okay? Um and and Yep, the page of pentacles. Somebody wants to give an offer. Okay, so Aries, hopefully this resonates. Please like my channel, subscribe to my videos, and I want to say thank you and you have a great day today.